Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. In this video, I will answer a question I get a lot about the infinite loadouts for ventures, like Minigun, Teddy or Dragon Slash and etc. A lot of confusion on this topic. Many people thinks it's useless for high power level ventures and it's just for the first two zones, maybe three, even some people never uses any of them at all. I know that you may be confused right now, why this specific video and what is good about these loadouts anyway. Well, on every video I made about these loadouts, almost half of the comments were yelling at me, these loadout is useless, no one uses this anymore, waste of time. Well, as you will see in this video, you're wrong, these loadouts are a very good for ventures, well, even the best at some point, just hear me out. But first, don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the content, and without further ado, let's get started. As we all know, in ventures, you don't have access to your main backpack or storage to use all your crafted traps and weapons, and you can only craft traps, and to get good weapons, you have to keep looking for the vending machines for a chance for a good weapon, and when you get a good weapons, most of the times the perks will be very bad. Yup, I hear you, we can just rely on constructors and traps, but, do you know how much time it takes to farm all the required mats to use a lot of traps every game, and you need to place more traps than the normal missions since your survivor squad's bonuses are not active in ventures, so if you have max traps durability and damage, you may need to replace a lot of traps if you've got a long mission like evacuate the shelter. Plus for some missions like destroy the encampments, constructors will be useless if you don't have a good weapon. So, you need something that doesn't rely on weapons or traps. And here come the hero's abilities, there are ton of them. We all have a lot of heroes, but if you use the right combination, you will have a very powerful loadout for almost everything, like as you see in this gameplay, the minigun melts almost everything even the mist monsters like smashers. The infinite minigun loadout is one of my favorites, I use it a lot mostly for every mission except the 4x missions if we don't have a constructor in the team. And it's one of my top 3, after stonehearted Farah and base Kyle since I use them a lot for 4x missions. It may not be the best for every mission, for example, a full team with one of these loadouts can lose easily in a 4x mission like retrieve the data. The same team can finish a mission in no time with the highest score possible like destroy the encampments, it depends on the mission and the other members of your team. What I like for the 4x and hard missions is, to have a constructor with the Ice King, Base Kyle or any good hero to support the build, and an Outlander to help to farm mats fast to upgrade the build and craft some traps to help, and the last two with one of these two loadout, the Minigun 1 for example, they only focus on smashers, flingers, lovers, and anything that can cause issues, and hey, that's not a rule, some of you will disagree with me, and that's okay, it's all depends on your style, and how you like to play the game. After all, some people still love to farm for a few hours then they do the rest of the missions afk with traps and constructors, and it's good too don't get me wrong, I do it sometimes too when I'm too lazy to play, I'm just explaining that these loadouts aren't that bad like made people think. I already made some videos about them before, but if you are interested on updated videos about these loadouts for the next venture season, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you are interested in videos like this one. And that's it, don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. Here's the rest of the game with the infinite minigun loadout, hope you enjoy it. 